Thank you for gathering together as we celebrate this liturgy, those of, those of us that are here live uh, in the worship space and those at home watching on, on free stream, live stream. Uh, today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Vincent Sestito. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us, for after saying, this is the covenant I will establish with them, after these days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and I will write them upon their minds. He also says, their sins and their evil doing I will remember no more. When there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are, you are a, priest a priest forever, forever. in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. I will make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies, a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is a princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower, and all who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and went down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on the rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and withered for lack of roots. 
Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. Some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. He said to them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside everything become, comes in parables, so that they may look and see but not perceive, and hear and listen but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. Those are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And those are the ones sown on rocky soil who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy, but they have no roots. They last only for a time. Then when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, today's Gospel reminds us so many things in our journey of life that the word of God is so powerful in our lives, can heal and can transform our lives, and each one in a unique way. Today, I want to share with you the power of the word of God, the power of the word of God that can even transform our lives, even in our families. We have a priest who was ordained two years ago, and actually he joined the seminary when I was the pastor in one of the parishes there. His father, he was a Muslim. And the mother, a strong lady, a Catholic. So they had a mixed marriage. And I remember when he wanted to join the seminary, it was a long story and discussions. How are you going to be a priest with your father who is a Muslim? But the father came and said, I want my son to follow his conscience and to follow his mom's faith. And we accepted, but it was a very layer situation. But he continued with the seminary life. And I want to tell you, for his journey, he has been praying for his father. And his father, he has been close to help them to walk through in their journey of life. And I want to attest to you, it was one of those families which really they were living their joyful life, no matter their differences of their faith. Something very powerful, just uh, three weeks ago, father was serious ill, and he was, in the, the, he was in the hospital. He called the pastor of that parish to come and talk with him, and he said that now the time has come. I would like to be a Christian. I would like to join the whole family. I want to follow Jesus. 
it was so powerful for all the family members, including the priest, who is also his son. They started asking him some questions and preparing him, and all those things he answered correctly. And he said, wherever they were praying, I was also praying for my inner heart, something which is very powerful. You can see the power of the word. No matter who you are, the word of God has no religion. The word of God, once it has come to come to someone's lives, it can go through and penetrate no matter who you are. I want to share with you, just last week he was baptized. He receives all the sacraments. And I want to tell you, three days ago, he died. So you can imagine how this word of God can be so powerful in the lives of the people. You can imagine the way the word of God can be among our journey of life and the way it can help us to move forward. Even at those moments, we don't understand the ways of God. My ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Dear friends, let us continue to listen to the word of God. Let us put this word of God into actions. Let us accept that the word of God can always give us strength and healing. Let us continue to hear the word of God, even at the time when we are sit together as a family, to let the power of the word of God heals us, transforms us, and gives us energy. Do it without hesitation. Do it because the power of word can always make a difference. Let us pray for those who are struggling with their faith so that the word of God may continue always to embrace them and give them strength. And let us continue also to be faithful, to acknowledge that we can also produce much fruits, either 30, 60, or 100 fruits. It's up to God to give us this courage to move forward. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of faith and for the gift of the power of the word of God, which always transforms our lives. And for this, we pray. We pray for our church so that all the leaders, in a very special way, my brother priest and all the bishops and cardinals and Pope Francis, so that you may continue always to proclaim the good news, the good news of peace. And for this we pray. Amen. We acknowledge that we have called to save one another and to proclaim the good news. Allow us always to see the needs of others and share the word of God to those in need. And for this, we pray. Amen. We pray for our country. We pray for the whole world, for justice and peace. And for this, we pray. Amen. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just, uh, due to our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for though you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add in nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Amen. Lord of hosts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking with the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Vincent, the sister, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, are apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. If you're receiving communion, please follow the direction of the usher. Come forward with your hands cupped. The Eucharist will be placed in your hand in front of the table. Please move to the side. Pull your mask down, receive the Eucharist, pull your mask back up, return to your seat. Thank you.
I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your life gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Tom, I'd like to say thank you for your participation and for your prayers. And for those who are watching live stream mass, also I want to say thank you for your participation and also for your prayers. Let us continue to support one another. Don't forget our brothers and sisters, especially those who are sick, so that God may continue to extend his healing mercy and healing hands to them. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.